Hey, today I want us just to touch base on one of the things we touched on this last week. Um, our being a disciple is driven based on our focus, our concentration. So think with me about our statement for being a disciple. So each one of our statements reaffirms who we really are, our true identity, right? So we have that basis of knowing that I am loved, so I'll, I'll, I'll focus on and celebrate that I'm God's beloved child, that first statement. Uh, the second one that I'm loving really focuses in on the notion that we have distractions all around us, and so I will work to eliminate whatever distractions are in my life and schedule. The third one, the identity statement about being a disciple, uh, says I will concentrate on the spiritual habits and disciplines that Jesus practiced so I can truly be more like him in my daily life. Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse 40, he said, The students are not greater than the teacher, but the student who's fully trained will be like his teacher. <laughs> That's great. So he wants to train us. He wants to equip us. Within our statement about being a disciple, um, one of the scriptures that we have that we that we meditate on about that is First Timothy chapter four, verse seven and eight, which is have nothing to do with godless myths or old wives' tales. What are godless myths and old wives' tales? Well, they're just stories. They're stories, but we buy into stories. In fact, we are storied creatures. We can't help but tell ourselves stories. <laughs> the problem is we don't. We've not learned to kind of arrest those stories and make sure that they are aligned with what God says is true. <laughs> so being a disciple, being someone who's training to be like Jesus, not trying, training to be like Jesus, means that I am empowered to arrest the false story, the false narrative, and replace it with what is true. So today, be aware that your false stories rise around you from every angle, from uh, old wives' tales, something your grandma used to tell you, uh, from myths in our culture, things that the culture believes but do not align with spiritual truth. Recognize what is the false story you're telling about the world, about God, about you. When you change that, when you take those thoughts captives to make them obedient to Christ, you're saying, I'm going to change my story. As you do that today, I pray that you would have insight and awareness, that you would be present and able to catch what's going on in your head. <laughs> Put your thinking cap on and give that some contemplation and some concentration today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.